Hello there guys. So another unboxing video. This time from uh, Funky Prepper. Really really nice bloke in England. And if you don't know him already then check out his channel. It's called Funky Prepper but I'll write it here somewhere. Here or here. But uh, that's the parcel. I have one going to him as well but uh, it's not as big and uh, most likely not as cool as this one. I don't know, but let's see what's in it. Um, under strict orders to skin this parcel with the BK2. So let's get to it. As you can see, maybe, there's a BK2 written all the way around. So let's see what's in this parcel. We'll do it in the skinning style here. tape there. Take some left hand skinning here. About, oh, it's almost seven o'clock now, and I had this parcel all day. But I've been out taking care of some stuff because we're gonna go up north and do some business on the construction and so on. So, uh, lots of things to do. But anyway, I'm first leaving Wednesday night. I found out. So that was BK2 skinning, stripped from the coating and all that good stuff. Just remove the lid because we have uh, my name and address on the top here. Oh, 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 oh. this looks already awesomely cool. Sorry I'm doing this on the balcony, but we just came home and the daughter is making a lot of noise and we're also having guests and so on, two guys, so uh, but I wanted to unbox this now, I said, I've been driving my wife around Moscow all day, so that's my privilege now, she can have the guests, I'll have this awesome party. So, as it unfolds, put it over here in the lid but let's see what's going on here this looks awesomely awesomely awesome this looks something part of a MRE this is definitely also a part of a US MRE dextro fruit sugar I guess you call it, that's what we call it in Denmark anyway. This is awesome because this is actually what I eat when I'm out in the forest. Dried fruits and nuts. If you guys don't already know, then this is very good to bring. It's not so heavy and... Oh man! What the hell is this? This is big, big wool socks. Actually, almost called stockings here. Sea boot men's. This is pretty cool. Ah, Darren, this is too much, man. This is way too much. Uh, we have some. What do we call them? Mittens? Mitts? In English, Whoa. 
and I can shoot with them also. That is quite cool. That is really awesome. As you can definitely, that's two items, it's very neat here in Russia. And what the hell this is? Uh, this looks like a backpack frame. You not put a large backpack in this, did you? We also have a leather here. One part is strictly confidential, I can see. But just a little few items I thought you might like. Everything is genuine and issue gear. Instructions for the health drink can be found on my zombie Twinkie tag video from the Lone Woodpecker. This is your inspiration for many of us to get out there, especially in the snow. <laughs> yeah. I hope you and your family are well. I look forward to visiting you at the homestead one day. Stay safe, my good friend. Take care and stay funky, Darren. You are always welcome at the homestead and in our apartment. That is absolutely no problem. Just need to know it in a few days in advance, but this is awesome. Awesome to be an inspiration, but I don't know if I can be an inspiration to Funky Forever is really awesome because all of my bushcraft subscribers to me is also inspiration. That's what I think is is uh, very cool about this uh, little community we have running here on the YouTube that we can all inspire each and other, uh, one another, and, and uh, we can get information and. Because just let's this, this face it, you know, it's very difficult to invent new stuff or completely new stuff. So, uh, so it's always nice to see when somebody does something a little bit different than uh, when we can do a little bit different. And um, yeah, I don't know if it makes any sense what I'm saying, but this must be for the zombie drink. Yeah, this is just too much, man. Mouser pouches from Yugoslavia and bottles and stuff. It's actually something in it. Triple distilled good vodka. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. Oh, this is bloody awesome. Blimey, mate. Brinjet Transporteur Orusje This is this, yeah This is something with armor transporters of USSR I think I'll just test what the hell he's come in here I hope it is vodka, not some and it's built to the absolute top Ah, cheers mate <laughs> this is awesome. This is just wicked stuff. This is the coolest part in here. I wonder they didn't stop this in the customs for being <laughs> drugs or something like this. Ah, the caravan tea. <laughs> the cool one. Health mixed. Health mix. One heap teaspoon per cup. I'll try that health drink for sure. That is good vodka, by the way. M48. Original mouse pouches, man. This is awesome. Ah. Oh, the smell of surplus on the balcony. 
Doesn't get much better than that. Hinge-twing flip, up goes the mag. Oh, these, these will get a little bit of my special beeswax treatment here. Oh, pouches, you can always use pouches. That is so awesome. That is just so wicked. I'm almost start swearing. It's not so good. Hey, light stick. It's not bad at all either. Esprit. I actually learned on some channel. I don't know that somebody is actually faking these doughs. Was it on your channel, Tonky? Or I don't remember, but they are really cool. This position for a smaller. And you can click it out and open it completely. We also use these in the Danish army. Just the large version, but the small version here is really cool. I have one already. But two is one and one is none. Like Mr. Canterbury says, which is actually true. A little slip of paracord here. I might find some use for it here. This is awesome. Man. I'll take. I'll save the rock to the left. Also, <laughs> this is also a good army thing. <laughs> we also use this stuff. Metal polish warding for brass, copper, stainless steel, and chrome. I think Funky actually uses this as fire starter if I'm not mistaken. I'll take the fight with this one later. We need to open it now. Okay. A little paracord thingy. Lanyard thing. Not bad at all. With a death skull. This is probably from some maker or something, I don't know. Sorry if I don't know who makes these. Some more MRE stuff. Tuna, bean and pasta. Muesli. As a good Scandinavian, you have to eat muesli. You cannot live without muesli. Oi. Tuna bean pasta. I think in uh, in honor of Funky, this one and this one and the vodka will go on the 24-hour hike when I make it. But I'll make a little video on that later. Actually, ah, oh, it's a butt pack. Uh, oh, it's in the lid. It's in the Looks like the Bundeswehr pack or something. We're empty. Reload! Reload! It looks like the Bundeswehr pack. It is, I can see on the bottoms. It must be Bundeswehr or Bundeswehr. It must be German or Austrian. They've used these pebbled buttons from, I think, before the First World War, actually. And I just have to figure in how to put this. Oh, this is an awesome pack, man. This is way too much. This is, oh. This is just so wicked. And there's even some small British tweaks in here. Maybe it's German tweaks, I don't know. Man, is this an awesome parcel or what? I guess this must be for a drinking bladder or something. Now the parcel begins. What the hell is this? Funky! What is this? <laughs> what the hell is this stuff? 
Well, that's up to me to find out. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Thanks a bunch, mate. This is really, 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 really awesome. I'll have to look into it. Look to be really a via quality pack. It actually feels like it's it actually feels like it's waterproof in some way. Could it be? Where does this frame fit? That is an interesting question. That, 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 that. I would expect it to be an internal frame, but anyway, Frankie, this is so... This is really awesome. This is really, really awesome. I don't know really what to say other than that and it's just freaking awesome this is a really nice pack just the way I like it rugged and good materials and everything this I will sit and nerd with for most likely if at least an hour or so and then I can pack all my stuff in it and see how it fits and so on and so on. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. Thanks a bunch, mate. Uh, this is heaviness in a box, for sure. Where to fit the frame? I would assume this strange item here have something to do with that. I don't know. What the hell is that? Yeah. Yeah, You have something to figure out here. Look at these nice shoulder pads here. Not too soft or anything like that. That is just wicked. It can be awesome, but it's not going down here. Maybe it have to be it have to be somewhere on the inside. I'll figure it out, Funky. But thanks a lot mate. This, this is an unforgettable unboxing. Lots of very useful and neat items. Oh. I think another toast for you, Funky, for the kindness, uh, good spirit, and uh, big heart you have, obviously. Thanks a lot, mate. Now I will go and nerd with the baked cake. That's for sure. Cheers, brother. Thanks a lot, mate. Unforgettable. Hello mate, so I've been nerding a little bit with this pack, I must say I am completely baffled by this frame, so uh, you know how it fits in, then please tell me because <laughs> I cannot figure it out.
what I can figure out is and I would guess it should fit in here because as you can see there's these three pockets here so to speak and they run all down to the bottom here and they're closed in the bottom But there's a slight problem here. This space does not fit really out here. It looks a little weird to say the least. It, I mean it, it actually fits quite nice in only two of the pockets but that means that it sits set to one side which I highly doubt it's supposed to and if you slide it down here for example then it then it begins to crimp here on the top, of course, because it doesn't fit. It, it, it's obvious it's, it does not fit this, uh, these two. You can see that that, uh, that is definitely not how it's supposed to be done. So uh, I have suspicions this frame is not for this pack actually. But if it is, then there's some weird way to do it. And please let me know, otherwise I will just take these two off, slide them in there and give it two rivets here. It should not be a big problem, because this is just very very strange. It actually looks like there should be three of these supports and not two. Uh, well, I guess it's a nice pack even without the frame, but now it's there. But you just uh, let me know when you have the time. If you personally have pulled it out and seen how it fits, because I simply cannot see how it should fit. You can see. It fits down these two, no problem. And it folds over and snaps, but as you can see it's set to one side that's a, bit, that's a little bit odd to say the least so yeah and it's not possible to put them in from the bottom and it wouldn't help either I would say so so if there's any uh, tricks to this it's a really cool pack this could be very nice to use on the outing up north could be nice to test out. Because I say it's a cool pack. But uh, and also what is this? This is a weird item. There must be some logic to it because as I say this Roger rucksack is either German or Austrian and I have this funny thing here there's, there's unfortunately no stickers inside telling it what kind of uh, what model number it is it only says Heeres Eigentum which should mean army property and here uh, that should be Austrian because that's a Bundesheer and not the Bundeswehr. Rated 2005, but that's the only thing I can find. And then of course this. But I have uh, suspicions there's something wrong, but anyway as I said, I should be able to just slide them apart and give them a, a rivet. But there's no need to do to do that if there's a trick to it in some way. 
but thanks anyway mate because I will have I will make good use of this backpack that's for sure but this aluminium thing in the bottom in this frame is freaking me out at the moment quite okay at finding how <laughs> stuff is how to fit stuff here and there but this I simply I simply cannot figure it out